Hello, Potato! Before we get into this week's video, there's two things I want to address. The first is, I want you to meet this. This is our mascot, Hello, Potato. Say hello to Hello, Potato. Now, the next thing I want to address is a little bit more... It's more serious than it should be. And that is that this week's video is going to deal a little bit with religion. And without going into my own personal religious beliefs, because that's not what this is about, I want to assure you that anything I say that might be offensive, because this is going to be a little flippant, so it may be offensive to some people, I do not intend to offend or hurt anyone. So, with that out of the way, let's put Hello Potato back over here where it belongs. And let's zoom out a bit. All right. So, there we go. I like large, detailed action figures. I like 12-inch scale action figures like, like Darth Vader here. Are you on screen? You are. Let's maybe tilt up a little bit more. There we go. And, uh, and of course, Luke. And, you know, other ones too. We have Indiana Jones. Say what you like about, uh, Crystal Skull. This figure is justification for that movie existing, no matter what. He even talks. Check us out. Things better still work. Come on, that's how look. His mouth even moves. You can make him talk. Oh, rats. I think Vader here talks too. Let's, if he still works. He's not really intelligible anymore, but yeah, come on, that's that's cool. And then, of course. If you follow me on Instagram and stuff, you've seen some of these other guys as well, like Deadpool and Iron Man. I like these big figures. I like the detail on them. I like all the little extra bits. I like that usually, um, Indy and Dar uh, Darth Vader here aside, usually they can stand up on their own. And they usually have like cloth outfits or just extra little bits of detail. I love detail in toys and action figures. When I was a kid, I loved Barbie. I never had Barbie as a kid, of course, because I'm a boy, and boys in the 80s did not play with girl toys. Um, but I liked the detail work. Whenever I was, like, at a female friend's house, I would play Barbies with them. But to be fair, uh, in my version of Barbie, one Ken would abduct Barbie, and the dad from the Hart family would have to come and rescue her, and there'd be a big fist fight, and they'd knock a bunch of stuff over. So it's not like I necessarily played with it in, in a stereotypically girly way. I did play with it in the same way a boy might play with G.I. Joe. But, you know, I liked the detail, and, and Boy Stories never had that extra detail unless you got some of these bigger ones. And, I mean, none of these are from my childhood, um, I mean, these two are fairly old. I got him in, I think, 1998, when I first started working at KB Toys. He, uh, went, he got marked down, I think, like, to 20 bucks shortly after I started there, so I snapped him up. His mask comes off, but I can't get it to come off today. As were some other ones, um, like Luke here, I've picked up much more recently, frequently, when my comic shop has, like, clearance sales, I call them sidewalk or patio sales, despite the fact they're held indoors. Um, they'll get these things out of storage, I'm assuming, for like 10 bucks or less each, and I have picked up a number of them uh, to correspond, to correspond, to complement the few that I already had, namely him, I have the old KB Toys exclusive uh, Boba Fett, um, I have a, a Palpatine that I picked up at the flea market for like 5 bucks one time, and then more recent ones, I mean, this isn't really recent anymore. And if you follow my Instagram, you've seen, like, Deadpool from Deadpool on a Deer, and he was in the background of uh, a lot of the Hall not Halloween stuff, the Christmas stuff with the advent calendars. Iron Man was there, too. But you're wondering now, why am I 
prattling on about this, especially given that I made a reference to potentially being offensive in the opener, and religion in particular. And that's because when I was doing Deadpool on a Deer a couple of years back, I, I was annoyed by the fact that I could, I could find neither a Krampus figure, and I still haven't, I have a couple of Krampus pops, but that's not quite the same thing, or a good Jesus Christ action figure. Now, you may have noticed in the background of my most recent Haunted Mansion video, uh, when I was showing off the music boxes and the pins, I'm pretty sure I caught a Jesus action figure I do have, but it's like a, like a nine inch, like the size of, can you see him on me? You, you can't see him on here, but like the size of Pennywise there. Not a big figure, and I don't think he's very poseable. He's been in his original packaging for the last 15, 16 years that he's been on my wall. But I wanted, you know, one like these, something that could interact with, like, Deadpool. And I found one online for, like, a hundred and something dollars. I'm like, no, that's not going to happen. But I put it on my wish list, and I monitor the wish list periodically just to see if anything gets marked down to a reasonable price. I've actually picked up some of these Star Wars guys, not these ones, for, you know, really good price. I think I got, like, a Grand Moff Tarkin for, like, seven bucks. You know, just you keep an eye on these things, and sometimes somebody puts them up there for a good price. And... Somebody, a few weeks ago, uh, actually a bunch of somebody's, popped up this. Prepare yourself for the glory that is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes, it is a 12-inch scale Jesus Christ. He's a little shorter than Vader, but he, he will fit nicely with uh, Deadpool. Now, this is from a line of toys called Messengers of Faith. It's from a company called One Two Believe. That's the word one, the number two, the word believe. Um, and judging by the box, and I don't, you probably can't see it because it's probably out of focus, but this appears to be from 2005. So this, this doll has managed to survive in package for the last 15 years, and I almost feel a little bad about the fact that I'm going to open it because of that. Um... I wanted to have spare batteries for him, but I can't see anywhere on here what batteries he takes, because yes, he talks. I believe he's supposed to say the Lord's Prayer. So, yes, I mean, if, if you think you're going to be offended by me talking about this action figure, then I do encourage you to stop now. I'm not mocking anybody's faith here. And again, I'm not going to go into what my own personal faith is, because it's not relevant. But I do not joke here at all at the expense of your or anybody's beliefs. Okay, so let's let's open him up and take a look at him. So one thing I've noticed when I opened him out of his uh, shipping carton is that he doesn't seem to have any plastic on the front of him, like most toys do. Now, I did do a, looking, a little looking into this series. So the best I could find is there were five dolls made as part of Messengers of Faith. Uh, there's Jesus, Moses, David, Mary, and another female doll who I cannot find the name of anywhere. Yep, no plastic. Um, yeah, I, the, the website for this company does still exist, but I don't think they I don't think they exist as their own thing anymore. Because when you click on like the shop, it takes you to BibleToys.com and um, they do have him listed on there for 20 bucks. I've spent uh, 39 95 for him on Amazon, which, you know, given that other people were charging over $100 new for him, um, one person was charging $80 for him, minus his, uh, his sash and him not working. But I think 40 bucks is not a bad price, because it looks like from the pictures, he should actually have some decent articulation. But let's just check out the bolt. Let's, let's see if he talks. John 2029. 20, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. All right, that's a good. That's actually a good speaker, isn't it? Certainly sounds better than Vader or uh, Indy there. John three three. I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom of God unless he is born again. Ah, uh, the face is a little, little odd there. Let's see if we can't 
zoom in on that a little bit. And I mean, obviously, this is your this is your white Jesus, as you know, as most of us have grown up with. So, I mean, take from that what you will, but this is traditionally how most of us have grown up expecting Jesus to look like. Kind of a little like a James Vanderbeek or maybe Qui-Gon Jinn from episode one. But the, the eyes are, I don't know, maybe it's just because they're close together. They're pretty close together. Maybe that's, maybe that's what looks weird to me. They're very blue. There's nice detail on them. The expression on him isn't, I don't know, it's, it's a little, it's a little weird. But, I mean, so far I'm looking at him, you know, he looks like a nice, a pretty nice figure. So what do we see on the back here? Jesus was the most important person in history, ever. He was born in a manger, raised as a carpenter, and crucified on a cross. He healed the sick, he raised the dead, he fed five thousand men with two fish and five loaves of bread. He was a revolutionary preacher and an extraordinary teacher who shook up the religious authority of the time. Jesus, the Son of God, came to earth in a form in the form of a man. When he died, he defeated death. He defeated sin. Believe in him. Belief in him brings eternal life. There was never been there has never been, nor will there ever be, anyone like Jesus. I assume that is until he comes back, right? Alright. So the box is actually in pretty good condition. There's some, some wear on it. But I mean, if this thing's been kicking around in storage somewhere for 15 years. That's pretty impressive. Now, I would have tried to find him in a store, but we don't have any Christian bookstores left around here. They all went out of business. And read into that what you will. I present that information to you without comment. I merely am pointing out to you that that's what happened here. So we have in the box, we have the a very brief version of the story of Jesus. Um, looks like the, probably the scripture that he says is listed there. He's a first edition, so I've ruined a first edition. Number 040982. So if you are in any way connected to one to believe, you now know what happened at least to this one figure. Messengers of Faith Gospel Message. Do we have a list of the figures? No, we don't, but he takes, he takes button cells. So I don't know that I would have had any of those anyways to replace him. Let's take him out. So, so far, I mean, I, I, I like the figure. He's maybe a little short. 12 inch seems to be a pretty fluid measurement when it comes to toys. Because, uh, I mean, these are all 12 inch figures. And as you can see, they're all a little different size. I mean, Indy in particular there, I think, is... Uh, noticeably short. I wish they would make more of those for Star Wars, though. I would absolutely buy, like, The Mandalorian. If you did, like, a Cara Dune and IG-11. And The Mandalorian himself, of course. I do have to go with my Boba Fett. In these 12-inch size, with the cloth, I would go for that. They very briefly, a couple years ago at Disney Store, they had... A Death Trooper, I think from Rogue One. They had a Death Trooper that was kind of like these. I do have that. I've never opened them. But, I mean, so they, they, they can do it. But more often than not, when they make these kind of size ones now, they're just solid plastic with very limited articulation, and they usually have little blaster noises, and it's not... I mean, they look okay on a shelf, I suppose, but if you want to do things... Like, you know, toy photography. They're not going to really work well for that. Because that's a thing, you know, if you aren't aware. There are groups like on Facebook and stuff where they do like what I did with Deadpool on a deer a couple years ago. And I would have done last year. That's actually part of why I bought all those Star Wars toys. Was I was going to do a much more Star Wars focused uh, Deadpool on a deer. Kind of ex expanding on the stuff from the year before where uh, he goes to Yoda to be trained as a Jedi. Um, but then I did advent calendars because I started doing these videos. And so that's the end of that. Okay, so 
All right, that's... Well, that's problem number one. He's got very weak ankles. Um, okay, hold on. Let me... I think I have a doll Star, stand over. 316. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. All right, so let me pause here and find a doll stand so we can stand him up and get a good look at him. Okay, now that we've got the Lamb of God upright, uh, we can take a good look at him. So, first place, yes, I am very pleased with the level of articulation. He's got posable elbows. He's actually got posable fingers. And that's nice because, I mean, well, again, this is where I'm going to sound a little potentially offensive. He's got a separate posable trigger finger. I'm wondering if maybe the body was meant for a different kind of doll. And they just, you know, they, they bought them and made them into Jesus dolls. Because it seems weird that Jesus would have a separately posable trigger finger. Because, I mean, you could, uh, you could definitely easily put a gun in that hand. Not that I necessarily intend to. Not that I necessarily won't at some point, if it is important for a picture. But, he's got elbows. He's got some good rotation. Oh, he's got some... Uh, Give on the arm there, so he could, you know, wave to you, maybe pitch a baseball. Um, interesting detail work on the... Love the Lord your God. You can't with stop him once he starts. Heart, There's... Does he have a switch? With all your mind and with all your strength. Does he have an off switch? Uh, 12.31. Love your neighbor as yourself. I mean, those are all good messages. And... No, there's no... There's no off switch, so I just have to... Either be careful, or we'll have to just put up with that as it happens. It's good and loud. I mean, that's, that's a good thing. It's just not good for what I'm doing. I don't, don't really want to talk over Jesus. Alright, so looking at the legs. Again, we've got some... Uh, He's got good movement down here. It's just his uh, his robe is very tight. So you, it limits what you can do with him. But we've got knees. Knees bend. And interesting detail is the sandals. They don't seem to quite fit him, though. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe that's the way those sandals were worn. I really don't know. I am not an expert on ancient Middle Eastern footwear. Eh, cause, yeah, I, think it's not, I think it's just that shoe, because this one this one's actually covering his bottom, bottom of his foot. So I probably could fix that. But the ankles are very weak, which is why he doesn't stand up on his own. I mean, they have good rotation to them, but, you know, he's not a doll that you're going to be able to stand up on a shelf by itself. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's, he's nice. He's a Pretty much exactly what I was hoping for. He's got, he bends at the waist, or twists at the waist. So that's actually, I mean, a lot of, in my experience, a lot of, uh, and it's limited experience, let's be honest, a lot of these kind of religious toys are very cheap. They're, um, they're kind of capitalizing on your belief more necessarily than your sense of uh, purchasing a quality item. But this is actually, this is a quality doll. Um, I mean, I would actually consider maybe getting some of the rest of them. The rest of them are fairly cheaper, or at least the ones I can find on, like, eBay and stuff. Um, Amazon has Moses, I think, for, like, 20 but on eBay they have David for as low as 10 Mary for 25 to $30. Uh, nobody seems to have the other woman. There's a picture I found online of, the, of all five of the dolls, but it doesn't name the other, the other woman doll, and nobody seems to be selling her other than one person selling the whole set as Jesus and friends, and not naming the other four dolls. So, I mean, if I had a... If I had a creative use for the others in particular, I would probably get them. I mean, so this, is, this is a nice figure. It's nicely detailed. Uh, given how long it's been in a box, nothing on it seems to be falling apart or 
rotting or t torn in a way that's not supposed to be. It's nicely put together. I still think the body may have been originally created for maybe more of like a military or action toy, just because again, trigger finger. Um, and, I, and I will tell you right now, I am using all my restraint to not dig out some of Deadpool's guns and put them in Jesus' hand. Um, again, that's I've already warned you that this might be offensive to you, and if it is again, I'm sorry, but. It is a Jesus action figure, and I can't imagine they that wouldn't have crossed somebody's mind for the battle of good versus evil, the way boys play with toys. But yeah, he's a he's a pretty nice figure. He says hello to you. The face is a little not derpy. He's not derpy. Vacant? Is that the right word? Vacant? Um, I don't know. The face, the face just doesn't, doesn't quite work. I think really, I think his eyes are too close together. Let's, cause like, look, look at Luke here. And I know it's ridiculous to be comparing the son of God to the son of Darth Vader. Spoilers. But, I mean, look at, of course, Jesus' head's much bigger, despite him being, uh, maybe a little bit shorter. But look at the eyes, look at the difference. I mean, they both have kind of dead eye, dead faces. Luke is not the best example of figure from that line. But see how much farther apart his, uh, his eyes are compared to, to Jesus? I think that's what's doing it to me, is Jesus' eyes are very close together. And that just looks weird to me, maybe because nobody else is that way, just on this table, or I think really in my collection. But yeah, I've, I think I've prowled on enough. Here he is. He's joined my other figures. He will go up somewhere on a shelf. And uh, in the future, if I do more like Deadpool on a Deer stuff, or maybe even at Christmas time, we'll, we'll, he'll come back out and join us. On the table, on display. I could actually see my wife maybe putting him out at Christmas time. I don't know. I don't know. But I promise you, I do... I, pr I do intend to treat the figure at least as respectfully as I treat any of my other figures that I care about. He's not going to just go in a pile. He will end up on a shelf at least. He'll get a little dusty. I mean, I had some fair dust on uh, Indy and uh, Darth Vader there because they haven't been used for anything probably in about two years since I did the first uh, Deadpool on a Deer series. Yeah, there we go. Um, any final words, Jesus? John 15, 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me, and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Yep, yeah, so that's, uh, that's the final words from Jesus. And so, uh, please remember to like and subscribe, and if this offended you, feel free to keep that to yourself, because I, I already understand. And I'm sorry you're offended. But, you know, at least I didn't put a gun in his hand. Um, and yeah, that will do it for this week. I'll see you next week. Uh, hopefully we've all continued to survive the COVID-19 outbreak. And we'll all be back here next week for something else. I've got some food stuff sitting around here I really should get to. All right. Until next time. I'm sorry, I couldn't, really couldn't resist.